Hey guys, welcome back. In this quick video, let's take a look at the uh, super basic stuff like symmetry here in Blender. If you are completely new to Blender and you're just wondering how does symmetry uh, work or control, uh, let's take a look, right? So to do this, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this cube and I'm just gonna press delete key to get rid of it. I'm gonna do shift A and let's bring in uh, another mesh and let's bring in this famous uh, monkey uh, blender uh, mesh, right? All right, and if you're wondering what is the name of this monkey, it's Susan, so that's, uh, that's funny. But uh, if you wanted to see the polygon count or the vertex count of this, you can always go into your uh, viewport overlays here and you can turn on something called statistics, right? And once you uh, turn that on, uh, you can see all the stats show up right here in the top left. If you wanted to keep that and have that always load, all you have to do is just go to file, default, and say save startup file. And then uh, if you say save, and then this will be loaded every time you start Blender. All right, and we can see that the monkey is 500 paces and that's super low poly. If you wanted to see the wireframes, a lot of times when I model or box model, um, I, I personally like to see the wireframe. So if you, if that's uh, you as well, you can always come back to overlays, turn on this uh, geometry um, button, and then in here you can see the wireframe, right? So that's that could be helpful in, in certain situations. So that's just for the layout mode. If you uh, obviously select the uh, mesh and go into the edit mode, uh, the wireframe will be activated by, uh, by default. All right, so uh, to test the symmetry, I'm gonna select my mesh, I'm gonna press tab to go into the edit mode. And on the top left, right away, you can see that these uh, buttons show up, right? If I click on X, now I just activated my symmetry. All right, so you can see how that works. Um, I can grab, for example, a point, And of course, if I move the point, it's gonna be moving it on both sides. Same thing with the edge, right? If I grab the uh, any one of these edge, it's going to be symmetrical. Uh, very cool. Now, the other thing you might be wondering is if you start uh, moving these uh, faces around, is there a way to activate, maybe you're coming from a different program like Maya, and you're wondering, does this uh, does Blender have soft select, right? That's what it's called in, in Maya, right? Soft selection. There is something very similar and it's called proportional editing. So if I click on this little button right here and begin to move my face, you can see that I activated uh, something called proportional editing, right? All right, and then if you can see there's a gray circle here, the circle of influence that's controlling the proportional editing. If you wanted to uh, control that, you can just come here and you have all these different um, curves that you can control as well as the size. And the size is gonna be that gray circle or the circle of influence, right? So that's super important. Um, and then one more thing, right? So if you wanted to uh, use any of these tools here in the box modeling, for example, let's say I want to uh, select, you know, I'm gonna leave this face selected, that's fine. And I'm gonna press E to start extruding it, right? And as soon as I extrude it, even though my uh, symmetry is turned on, you can see it's actually not being applied to the extrusion, right? So the way this works is then I would have to manually kind of flip this over and copy it to the other side, right? And the, to do this, what I can do is I can open this little um, slide right here and I have something called edit. And if I open that up, you can see there's something called auto mirror. When I click on that, it's gonna automatically mirror it to the other side. Now by default, this is not activated in kind of the, the um, default version of Blender. So you have to turn this on if you find this useful, right? So to get that going, what you wanna do is go to edit, go to preferences, you wanna go into add-ons, and in here, all you need to do is just type in mirror, and then you will see that there's something called ma uh, mesh auto mirror, right, if you open that up. All right, and then you just simply check this. And then if I uncheck it, you can see my edit disappeared. If I put it back on, it's uh, it's back in business, right? So that is super important, and it's gonna be very useful if you are uh, planning on box modeling in Blender. All right, thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in our, in our next one.